Okay, guys, evening prayers a little bit late. I've been running all over the place. I had to go to the store. Um, you know, you can see, it's so funny, too. You can see a slow panic setting in. Um, I'm going through the store, and I'm like, okay, the things that I thought would be empty aren't empty. The things that shouldn't be bothered are completely gone. You know, you would think water, lunch meat, bread. No, spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti was full. Spaghetti sauce was empty. What are they doing with it? And toilet paper. There were people standing on the aisle in Walmart complaining. They were calling people that worked there over saying, hey, hold on, let me put it in airplane mood. Bam. And they're like, hey, why don't you guys have any toilet paper in here? Where the toilet paper was, if you look to the left, paper towels. No, paper towels were behind them. Look to the left, napkins. Look to the right, tissues. On the next aisle on the other side was wet wipes. It's like, go get something else. It's not about the toilet paper. And somebody had come up, a, a husband and wife come up, and they're like, look at all these people complaining. They can hear us. I was like, yeah, I know. It didn't make any sense. Did they not realize they got to eat in order for that to be useful? It doesn't make sense to buy the toilet paper. Oh, you can use a wet wash rag. You just wash them. It's like, what's the matter with you guys? I mean, what are they, if they run out of toilet paper, what are they going to do? Drag their butt on the carpet like the dog? Come on. But see, this is how people think. It's weird. It's so weird. I'm just walking through looking at everybody like, y'all need Jesus. you got some problems. It just it didn't make sense. You know, instead of going and getting canned goods, they cleaned out the freezer section, but only these little deep dish pizzas. Everything else was fine. It's like, what are you doing? I don't get it. I don't understand. It makes you laugh. It's not a funny situation because of what's going on, but it has to make you laugh at looking at the attitude of people. It just doesn't make sense what they do. Same thing applies to you know, salvation. It doesn't make sense what people come up with. It's like, where do you get that from? That doesn't make any sense. People have been commenting on the uh, Let's Rightly Divide This videos. You know, I started out with the Millennial Reign and got pushed hardcore into that. And it's like, it's so easy and it's so common sense to read it for what it says. And they completely miss it. It's like they ran through a stop sign, but they weren't even driving the car in the first place. I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> well, we're not going to share any scripture in this video. That's why it's full video screen. I'm just going to lift some names up. We're going to get into prayer because right now people need prayer. They need prayer bad. If you guys had looked, um, actually it had it just come out here like about an hour ago, a little over an hour ago. We attacked the Shia militias that are backed by Iran. A hardcore airstrike on them. Guys, I told you about Daniel 8. We're going to see how far this unfolds. Another thing to note in, a, in conjunction with this is that Trump, when he was on TV the other night, looked sick. All the world leaders are now bugging out. They're all like going into hiding and disappearing. Guys, we may be seeing Daniel 8, Isaiah 17, and there's another one, um, Ezekiel or something. Uh, we may see them start to unfold in quick succession. What does that mean? Well, that means because the rapture didn't happen on Purim, it may be getting ready to happen now. We know... Things will probably get bad before we go, but he will not allow us to stay here for judgment. He, he promised he wouldn't, so we're going to be gone. But to see these things start to unfold should really help us to pay attention closely to what's happening. Stay strong and stay faithful and keep looking up. Put your trust in him. You don't need to go out. Like There's people that are going out. If you saw the community tab I put up uh, about the video, a short video of a woman talking about those, those, 20, those food buckets and all that kind of stuff. And there's people that I've talked to here on YouTube just in the last week that said, oh, yeah, I bought like $5,000, $6,000 worth of that stuff. Why? Well, it lasts for 25 years. I said, you didn't read the bucket. It says up to 25 years. There's stuff in that bucket that's only good for a year or two. It says up to 25 because only one or two of those things in that bucket are 25 year. You want food that's going to last on the shelf? Go buy Bear Creek soup mixes. That, that'll last on the shelf. Go buy canned goods. Keep them in a cool, dry place. Out of the sunlight. Out of the heat. That's what the stuff that you go buy. People aren't using their head. And they're not doing their research. Well, let me just lump some, buy all this, and stick it on the shelf. And 25 years later, I know I got food. No, 25 years later, most of what you got is bad. In fact, five years later, most of it's bad. But you got to do research. That's why I post that stuff. 
to help people think and to understand what the right way is to do this stuff. And for us, especially if we're going to call ourselves faithful Christians, there's no reason for us to go out there and panic and go crazy and start buying a bunch of stuff. There's just no reason. Now, there's people that are using the excuse, well, I'm buying it for those that are going to be left here, but they may not get to use it. When they bring that big pallet load of stuff, your neighbor saw it. I'm just saying. Okay, let's lift some names up. Let's get into some prayer. Man, the flow was coming today. I filmed three, um, and all of them were over an hour. Three, let's rightly divide this video. It's the flow of information. I could do another one right now. He refreshed me, and there's this constant flow of information. I still have comments and emails I have to answer. But I've been all over the place. It's been, it's been actually been interesting to see what's been going on. And you know, I'm just at peace with it because I was going into town and coming back. I'm, I got my uh, phone Bluetooth to my stereo. I'm listening to music, singing along and just having a good time and just driving, doing my thing. But I'm seeing that panic start to build. People are starting to freak out. And it's like, I'm just going to stroll along nice and slow and be a light and be an example. Let them lose their mind. I'm not going to do that. I choose not to do that. Let's get into some prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you this beautiful evening, this evening you've given us to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory, and to thank you for opening our eyes, to for giving us this peace that defies all understanding. All the world around us is going into chaos, and you've given us rest and peace. You've given people the word today. Trust me. Many people have put up videos. You, trust me. Just trust me. He, we know that you know what you're doing. We know that you've got this figured out. We know, I had to look and see if my phone fell asleep. We know that you have this under control. And we put our full faith and trust in you for that. We know we're saved because we believe you're the son of God. It's that simple. I, you have me you've had me cover it in videos. Extensively. Rightly dividing. Shutting up those people who keep leading people into condemnation and leading them into bondage. Those people who have a negative word to say all the time about everything and never have anything positive and their whole goal is just to make other people feel bad and look bad. We're, you're shutting them up by what you're giving many of us in our videos. They have nothing to say. Leave my people alone. So, with all that's unfolding and you're showing that what you've been giving us has been accurate because we're seeing it unfold right now in the very world in front of us, they have nothing to say. And after you take us out of here, they're not going to have an excuse. But Lord, thank you for opening our eyes. Thank you for choosing us to be a part of this, on the good side of it. Thank you for this promise of rescue to be delivered out of the wrath to come. We see it about to start. Thank you for calling us to this calling, to our ministries, to offer prayer and intercession to offer edification to the brothers and sisters, for us to pull together as a family, in love, and in you. And you've been answering the prayers like crazy. I have more praise reports. Lord, tonight I lift up Lisa Bruno. She has migraines and she has doubt. Lord, we know, what about, we know about that doubt. We know what's going on with that doubt. We know where that comes from. Lord, take that away from her. Give her that peace that defies all understanding. You've eased my migraines. Lord, ease hers. That doubt causes some of those migraines. Val, him and his wife are asking for strength, peace, and endurance. Lord, give them that strength. Give them that peace, especially that peace, and give them that endurance that they can stand strong in all that we see unfolding around the, in the world around us. Lord, you already, there's a praise report attached to this one. I was going to lift up Sister Trish last night. She's sick and needs protection and peace. Lord, you delivered her. All she has is bronchitis. And we, we hadn't even spoken the prayer and you had already answered it. So there's our praise report and our lifting up in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Laura, Lord knows her issues. While I get a lot of prayer requests like this, Lord, you know what's going on. Deal with those issues. You know what's happening in that life and in the lives associated with that life. Lord, handle that only like only you can in your perfect way. Texas Sweet Pea has a praise report. Her son, her son Gus, called. She is now in, back in connection and communication with him. And that's what she prayed for. Lord, you answered the specific prayer that we made. 
that he would call and he would talk to her and they could reconnect. And you did that. And she's so happy. Thank you, Lord, for answering that prayer. Lord, she's in a lot of pain. Could you please ease her pain and give her that peace that defies all understanding? Angel Eye Girl has is suffering from severe insomnia, aren't we all? And Lord, I was in that last night too. It is what it is. And you know what? You just rock on and do what you can do. But you know, you gave me rest this afternoon. Lord, strengthen us and build us up and embolden us to be able to reach out to each other, to make intercession for each other. I make intercession right now for all those struggling with their faith that you settle them in their faith. For all those that are having problems with the truth that you root them in the truth. For all those that have doubts and questions that you get them that peace that defies all understanding and to show them they are yours and you will not let them go away. You will not let them suffer. You will not let them be caught up in this wrath. That wrath is not theirs. Lead them to anyone's videos that that, secu that completely speak about this and show them the scriptures that talk about this. Lord, I pray for everybody that you get them back into your word. Get them into the scriptures. Lord, we see the time is up. We see everything unfolding. We've never had this before in our world, ever. You, we can't say that it's going to be another 10 years. It's too much is happening. Lord, let, help us to win that race to reach the very end in glory and in triumph. Help us to reach that end having faith in you. Lord, I lift up all those who are railing and all those who are mocking and scoffing. Lord, I'm not going to pray for their salvation because you've already dealt with them according to how they, they the choices they've made. All I ask, Lord, for them is that you open their eyes to see the truth. To see it and then have the opportunity to choose it. Because if they know without a shadow of a doubt what's going on and what they're doing and they choose otherwise, there is no excuse. They have no excuse. They can't say, I didn't know. But I didn't know. All those that are in doubt, that are caught up in, in deception and are caught up in bondage in that, Lord, I pray you release them from all of that. Give them that peace that defies all understanding. Help them to understand your message that you deliver to us in your word. Help them to love you and have faith in you and to stand strong in you and to trust you. That's the message for the day. That's going to be the message every day, to trust you. And we put our trust in you and we believe in you and we have faith in you. And we are looking for you and watching for you and as patiently as we can waiting for you. Lord Jesus, we love you. We lift up Israel. We, we pray for her peace and her salvation. Pray for her deliverance. We know she has a hard road ahead of her. But there are some good people there. There's a remnant there. There are those that have chosen you as Messiah there. Lord, everyone who is going to get caught up in this tribulation, we lift them up in prayer that they have strength, that they see what's going on, see you and choose you with no doubt that they can be saved. And while there's still a little bit of time, while it's still called today, Lord, help us get one more. Just one more. You've had, you have your prayer warriors out here doing their thing. You have your soul winners out here doing their thing. I lift all them up to you in prayer. Bless them. Build them up. Strengthen them. Give them a good word to give to the people. Lord, I can't think of anything else to pray for. The Holy Spirit isn't giving me any other words to give out. We love you and we thank you immensely for what you have done. I can't thank you enough for the blessings you've poured out upon me. And right now I give thanks for all those who haven't given thanks. For whatever thing that, that blessing has come upon them, I give thanks for them now through intercession. We bless you, we praise you, and we glorify you in this prayer and in everything that we do. It is in your mighty, wonderful name that we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for evening prayer. I didn't feel the, the push to go to scripture. I'm trying to let the Holy Spirit lead everything that I do. It was just prayer. We just needed to get into some prayer and get a, a word out there and edification and uplift and intercession for those. What we're called to do is watchmen for all those that need it. Prayers are being answered, guys. He is still active in the body. He is showing himself. These praise reports are true. They're real. These people are having these prayers answered, and they are joyous because of it. 
They're rejoicing because of it. I rejoice with you because I've had prayer answered. And it's an amazing thing to see him working in your life. Guys, stick with Jesus. You can't go wrong if you stick with Christ, no matter what happens. It doesn't matter how bad it gets. It doesn't matter what your eyes see, your skin feels, your ears hear. Christ is still with you because he paid for you with his blood and he will not let you go. He will not lose you. Don't let these other people confuse you. Don't let them get you hung up in deception and condemnation. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And if you believe he's the son of God, if you can ask yourself that question and answer, yes, I believe Jesus is the son of God, you're saved. Bar none. That's it. I bless you all richly in Jesus' name. I pray him and our Holy Father bless you all richly, overflowing with blessings and with the peace that defies all understanding. In his name, amen. I'll see you guys in the next video. Last year I said this, but I'm saying it now because it really looks like it's about to happen. I'll see you in the next video or I'll see you in the clouds. There's a high probability we may be getting ready to meet up. No matter what, we're going to be in heaven with the Lord. Like, why did, like, I have to quote a great, great man of God. In the immortal words of Wackadoodle Samoan, heaven's where we're going. See you guys in the next one.